Hey guys, welcome to the quarantine and it is Juneteenth today. Um, Juneteenth is the nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery, um, which I think is, is really interesting because um, slavery, uh, and, and um, th this happened in 1865, but slavery um, and the Emancipation Act proclamation actually ended in um, 1863, but it took about two years for that news, for some reason, to get to Texas and let the Texans know that, hey, Slavery is now over and you have to um, adhere to the laws of the government. So um, that's why uh, Juneteenth is the nationally celebrated commemoration of the end of slavery when it was um, throughout the entire United States at that time as opposed to the, um, during the Emancipation Proclamation. And um, uh, the, the um, interesting part of this is the story of the day is about um, this great oak tree and this great oak tree um, stands in the wind and resists the wind, and he watches his friend, the reed, by the river, and the reed bows and bends in the wind. And um, the, the oak tree pities the reed for bending and bowing his head to the wind as he resists it in his, with his, all of his mighty, mighty arms. And the reed's like, hey, don't worry about us. You know, we only bow our heads in, in order to survive. And you, in all your pride, are keeping your arms out, and that is going to be your downfall. And so then, right then, the wind picks up, a hurricane comes through, the mighty oak resists and topples over, and the, the uh, reed, in, in bowing its head, is able to survive. And... Um, this story is a, is a little is a little funky for me to tell right now because I, I feel like it has a some very interesting uh, diametric uh, meanings to it. But the but the thing that I was trying to get from this was the idea of flexibility and how important it is to be flexible in our minds, um, especially when we have mindsets that don't benefit us. And maybe um, it's sometimes a good idea to change our opinion. Um, in order to be uh, more beneficial to us, more be beneficial to um, to the society that we live in, and I think this is this is definitely um, key right now as far as the whole pandemic is concerned. And I feel like um, like a state like Oregon is, uh, even though you know there's going to be debates about the economic impacts and the health impacts of the pandemic and what how we should have progressed with this, but I think that. Oregon actually did a really good job with bowing and being flexible in this in this whole situation because we have some of the least amount of cases that have happened with the coronavirus and then you have states like Iowa that resisted and they resisted to the point of they didn't have any closures there was no use of masks and they have six times the infection rate that we do in Oregon and um, uh, I, I, that's that's how I'm kind of looking at this at this story, um, and and it, it kind of goes back to you know that that idea in Texas where um, they resisted the end of slavery, and they actually had to have the the army come in and tell them, no, it's over, it's over, and now you have to be flexible and you have to understand that this is how this situation is right now. And um, sorry if I'm kind of jumping all over the place with those different those different stories and those uh, different fables and, and whatnot, but I was just trying to connect the dots with, um, with uh, what we have going on right now and trying to be, I guess, the most positive possible in thinking about what has actually happened with the outcome of this uh, pandemic and, um, and how I've, I've learned from it. And and I had I had to be flexible. Like I like there were certain things that I that I couldn't do, and that it, you know for my safety and for the safety of others, that I had to that I had to adhere to um, as far as mask use, as far as um, social distancing, and all those things. So, uh, moral of the story of today is uh, trying to be flexible and uh, um, sometimes getting over mindsets that don't that don't help us. You know. So anyway, we are going to get into our Tabata, and um, our Tabata today is um, if you have some uh, like dumbbells that would be fantastic or a kettlebell or a book or something that causes resistance you can even use your resistance band if you have that all right all right guys let's go ahead and start on the ground and I want to start kneeling so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward with this hip I'm going to slightly come over this ankle with this knee and what I want to do is I'm going to bring my arm forward 
and then I'm going to rotate it out towards you and I'm really squeezing this glute guys as I'm doing this now I'm bringing my hand towards you and I'm rotating that shoulder and that hand and now my hand is pointed up to the ceiling and now I'm taking it back the other way oh yeah really turning it making sure everything is turning together keeping this rib cage down as I lift up out of that arm all right let's switch it out to the other side guys we're going to reach forward I'm going to bring this this rib cage down as I reach out of that arm turning my hand towards you bringing it back Whoop! bringing it back to that back wall. Now I'm having it turn up to the ceiling, coming back down, bringing it back up, rotating that, sh that shoulder and that arm and that hand as one unit. Boop, 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 reaching, 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 coming down, keeping those legs really, really turned on. And I'm coming back down, all right. Now I'm going to go into this quadruped position. If you have wrist issues, just go ahead and go on your knuckles or grab a pair of dumbbells. And then I'm going to go into my cat cow. So I'm going to bring my pelvis forward first. I'm going to go through each one of my vertebrae. I'm going to feel my shoulder blades pull up to the ceiling and then I'm going to take it back the other way. All right. So butt is pointed up to the ceiling, taking it back. Cat cow guys, yeah, getting those, getting those spines all nice and warmed up. Let's do about three more each way. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this high kneeling position. I'm gonna reach out towards you. So what I'm doing is I'm reaching out of my shoulders and then I'm gonna do these shoulder circles, keeping my hands extended forward. So bringing those shoulder blades back, really squeezing them together at the back, coming back up, making these nice big round movements with those shoulder blades. Coming up to my ears, squeezing them, coming back down and out. Bringing those shoulder blades up to the ears, back down. Woo, yeah. Really feeling those shoulder blades warming up, taking it the other way. Squeezing those glutes, guys. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes. All right. Now I'm going to come into this tripod position and I'm going to go into my Cossack stretch. So I'm going to push back onto my butt with my, um, with, uh, push back onto my heel with my butt. Get the right body parts going on there. <laughs> Being gentle with your groin. Doing about 10 on the right or whichever side you've started with and then switching it out. Ah, yeah, feeling that stretch, feel that stretch. Ooh. All right, so now while we're here, let's go ahead and do our leg lift. We're gonna do five. Three, four, five. Switch it out to the other side. Two, three, four, and five. Nice, now we're gonna go into our frog. So I'm gonna bring my knees out. I'm gonna come down to my forearms. I'm gonna have my feet lined up with my knees so my legs are at about a right angle. I'm gonna push back my butt back towards my knees, and then I'm gonna squeeze my knees together for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, rock it forward to really, really relax out of it, all right? Now push back in and squeeze for five, four, 
three, two, one. Rock it forward. One more time for five. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing the earth together. Three, two, one. Awesome. Gently walk yourself up. We're gonna go into our side-lying archer. So my knees are stacked, bringing those hands together, dragging that hand along that chest and looking back at that hand, bringing it back through, keeping those knees stacked as you rotate. Let's do five on each side. This is three, getting that shoulder as close to the ground as possible. Four. And five. Nice. We're gonna switch it out to the other side. Dragging that hand, getting that full stretch, trying to get that shoulder blade to the ground in the back or that shoulder as far as you can. I'm about six inches from the ground. Keeping those knees stacked. Three. Four. And five. Nice job. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up. I'm going to go into my eyes. So for my eyes, I want to make sure that I'm in this hinge position, really feeling my hamstrings activate, trying to get my upper body to be about a 90 degrees to the ground, bringing my arms right next to my ears and then back down. So coming up, bringing those palms up in the back, arms next to ears. So what that looks like this way is I'm in tight, then I'm coming back. Go ahead and give me 10, four, here comes the leaf blower, five, six, seven, eight, woo, nine, 10. All right, guys. Next, we're going to go into our W's. So for my W's, my elbows are in. Then my hands are together. Coming into that bent hinge position, bringing my hands out to my shoulders and then back down. So I'm really squeezing those shoulder blades, guys, as I'm lining up those hands with my shoulders. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's get our arms a little bit more warmed up. We're going to go into our inchworms. So what I want to do is I want to come down, touch the ground. If I need to, to get those legs straight, widen out those, feet, those legs. Go ahead and widen out those legs. And then I'm gonna walk it out. I'm gonna come into this high plank. I'm gonna come back in. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings. Come back out. Come into this high plank. Two. Three. And five. Nice, great job. All right, guys. Let's get our legs a little bit more warmed up. I wanna do some, I wanna do some prisoner squats. So I'm gonna put my hands behind my head. I'm widening out those feet. The leaf blower should be going by here in a second. And I'm gonna come down, get low with it. Give me 10 body weights, give me 10 prisoner squats. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right, guys. 
So what I want to do now is I want, as far as my warm up is concerned, I want to go through each one of the exercises in my Tabata and then we're going to make sure that we have all the equipment ready to go. Everything's ready to go for when we do the different circuits. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some lighter to medium weights. All right, and I'm going to start with my high pull. So for my high pull, what I want to do is I'm squeezing my glutes at the top. My feet are more narrow. They're not out wide. I'm going to bend over into my RDL. I always start with my RDL. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to do an um, upright row as I come up onto my toes, really bringing those hips forward, all right? So it looks like this. Two. Go ahead and give me 10. Really lock out those hips at the top, guys. Really use those legs to power you up. Lead with those elbows. Nine, 10. All right. Next, what I have is a curl to press. So I'm going to curl, bring it out to the side, come up into an overhead press, back down, go into my full curl. Keeping those elbows in, give me 10 of these. Don't rock with it. If your weights are too heavy, grab a different set of weights or maybe a book. Here's nine. And 10. Nice, taking it slow, good job. Next guys, we have our lateral lunges. If you want to, you can use a dumbbell for this or you can just do it without but what we're going to do is we're going to go into a lateral lunge where my butt really comes to that back wall and then I'm going to step into it take that step out step back in let's go ahead and do five on each side so I want you to make sure you're really pulling that butt to that back wall as you're stepping out All right, next I have my goblet squats. Luckily, I already have my dumbbell in place for that. Come down and up, down and up. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10. Then you might remember the next one from our homework from last month, which was our archer planks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our feet out wide to keep those hips stable. We're gonna bring that hand across that chest, come back down, switch it out to the other side, come back down. Give me five on each side. Get that nice rotation in here. Open up that chest. Follow that hand with the eyes. Ah, nice job. And then we're going to go into our swimmers. So we're coming down onto our bellies, pushing those feet into the ground, bringing those arms forward, and squeezing our shoulder blades together as we come up onto our abs. Go ahead and give me 10. Nine and 10. Nice. All right. Next guys, we're going into our sit outs. Our sit outs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my hands, my knees in close to my hands in this quadruped position. My knees are slightly elevated off the ground. I kick out. It's the same arm as leg. This back foot comes flat at the back. 
bringing my body this way, coming back in, kicking out. Now, if you have any shoulder issues and this hurts your shoulder, then I'm gonna give you something else to do. But if it doesn't hurt your shoulder and you just hate sit outs, work on your sit outs, good medicine, all right? Thank you, Heather, for that. It is good medicine. So if you're having a hard time with this, I want you to do push-ups instead. Either elevated push-ups or push-ups from the floor. But what you're doing is you're making sure that that chest touch the, touches the ground. Kicking out. We're gonna do about five on each side. I'm gonna guess I have one more. All right, there's my sit-outs. Now guys, I'm gonna go into my toe touches. So for my toe touches, my legs are gonna be straight. I really wanna lock out these quads, feel this hamstring stretch. And then I'm gonna take my hands in. I'm gonna reach up to my toes and come back down. All right, so getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Nice. All right. Next, guys, we have our lateral crawl. So for my lateral crawl, I'm back into this four-point position. My knees are slightly hovering over the ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out and in. Step out and in. I'm going to go back out and in, back out and in. All right. So give me two one way and give me two the other way. We'll do a full set of five. This is three, keeping that butt down the whole time. Don't let that butt raise up. Don't push back on those shoulders. Keep those shoulders over those wrists. One more. All right, shake it out for a second. And then we're gonna go into our four point hip mobility. So I'm back in this quadruped position, getting that butt slightly up, kicking that knee out, touching those feet. Go ahead and give me five on each side. All right, so with those lateral crawls and those four point hip mobilities. I'm making sure to keep my shoulders over my wrists. My butt is slightly raised. I'm not pushed back like this doing it, all right? I'm here and I'm going slow and controlled, all right? So those are all the exercises in our Tabata. We're gonna rest before we go into our first circuit. And our first circuit is going to be those high pulls and curl to press. All right, so for our Tabata, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and then we switch it out to the other exercise. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And we do that for four minutes. All right, so I have the timer here, and we're gonna start in three, two, one, go with our high pulls. Starting with those high pulls. RDL, upright row. Coming up onto those toes. Guys, really squeezing those glutes at the top are gonna keep you stable when you come up onto those toes. So I really want you to use those legs to blast you up. And we're switching out to our curl to press. So now my feet are narrow. And I'm going in two, one curl to press full curl elbows out coming up into my overhead press all right We've got about three seconds left then we're going back into our high pull all right we got about 10 seconds of rest 
Here we go. And hit it. Squeeze those glutes. Boom. RDL, making sure you feel that in the hamstrings at the bottom. Two, one. All right. Now, if your weight's getting a little too heavy, you can always just grab one. Two, one. My curl to press. It's gonna have just a little bit of a different range of motion if you're using one, but you're still getting that curl. You're still getting that overhead press. This would be the same thing if you had a kettlebell, switching out to our high pull. So I'm gonna do one just to show you what one looks like if you have one heavier dumbbell. Two, one, and hitting it. Boom. Oh, or if you don't have dumbbells and you have one of the longer resistance bands, you can put that band underneath your feet and use it that way where you have the band in your hands going into this upright row, switching it back out. All right. Go back into my curl to press. Really squeezing those glutes, guys. Keeping that rib cage down. Full extension down, full extension at the top. You got this. All right, got my, oh, my uh, high pulls again. This is gonna be my last set of each one of these exercises. Last set. Thank you, Coach Josh. <laughs> Really squeeze those glutes, guys. Really bring that pelvis forward. <sighs> Boom, three, two. All right, got my curl to press. I keep wanting to put my weights down. <laughs> this is it. Here we go, two, one. Getting after it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Don't neglect your butt. And that was it for that circuit. Nice job. So we're going to rest for about 90 seconds. Let's go ahead and grab some water. All right, so while you're resting, I'm gonna go over the next two exercises that we're gonna do. And that is gonna be our lateral lunge, stepping in. Lateral lunge, stepping into that leg that lunges out, all right? You're still resting, you're still resting. We haven't started yet. Steve, you're still resting. <laughs> and then we're gonna go into our goblet squats. So, I have my toes pointed out. Coming down, trying to get as deep and as low with this as possible. Again, guys, you can either use your dumbbell, you can use two dumbbells, you can use your resistance band, whatever you have, go ahead and use that. And we're still going slow and controlled with this, all right? So we got about 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna go into this, this next circuit. So, and again, if you get really gassed throughout this, just skip two of the exercises and then join back in again, all right? I want you to make sure that you're maintaining perfect form. Going back in, starting our, with our lateral lunges in three, two, one. Ah, sorry, I messed up. Oh, it's just really yelling at me now. Oh, good Lord. Okay, here we go. Lateral lunge, stepping out, coming back in. Really bringing that butt to that back wall. Two, one, nice. Now I got my goblet squat. Widening out those feet. 
And here we go. Boom, really squeeze those glutes. Boom. Try to get low, try to get parallel, if not a little bit lower. Trying to keep my torso as upright as possible. So what I'm not doing is I'm not leaning over. That's not gonna allow me to go as deep. All right, going back to our lateral lunge. Four seconds, here we go. Boom, yeah. Get that nice long lunge, getting that butt pulled back to that back wall. All right, guys, got about three seconds left. Going back into my squats. Two, one. Exhale as you come up, as you're squeezing those glutes. Three seconds. All right. Back into my lateral lunges. Three, two, one. Getting in after it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You got this. Oh. Don't rush it. Try to get those really nice movements with this. All right, going back into my goblet squat. And we're hitting it. Boom, lock out those hips. Lock out those knees at the top. Three, two, one. Nice. We have one more set of each of these exercises. This is going to be our last set. Here we go. Stepping out. Woo. It's going to be a warm one today, guys. Here it's going to be about 85. Feeling it in the dojo already. All right, spreading out those feet, toes pointed out, squeezing those glutes at the top. Here we go. Constant tension, here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. Nice. All right, guys, grabbing water, getting some rest, getting our hearts to recover. All right, again, you're resting while I'm going to show you the next two exercises. The next two exercises are going to be our archer, oh, archer planks. I was like, our archers, that's gonna be so easy, archer blanks. So I'm here in this plank formation, bringing, dragging that arm up, coming back down, drawing that arm up, coming back down. Widen out those feet, guys, to keep those hips stable. And then we're going right down onto our bellies for our swimmers. So my feet are pushed into the ground, reaching forward, pulling those elbows back, getting those shoulder blades together, coming up slightly off the ground, having my eyes look at about a 45 degree angle in front of me. So I'm not really stressing that neck. All right. Okay, guys, we got about 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna go into it. So, face this way so I can see the clock this time. All right. Let's get into our archer plank position. And we're starting in three, two, one, go. Widen out those feet. I have my shoulder over that wrist, dragging that arm 
following that hand with my eye. Eyes. Three, two, one. Resting for 10 seconds. Going into my swimmers. Laying down. Splay those hands forward. Bringing them in. Tight. Getting those shoulder blades together. Boom. Five seconds left. Really squeeze. All right. Coming back up into my archer planks. Three, two, one. Hit it. Again, guys, if you have wrist issues, you can come onto your, onto your knuckles. You can grab a dumbbell on each hand. Hold that. Dragging that hand across that chest. Going back down into my swimmers. You got this. This is our halfway point with this Tabata. Going for it. Feel that in those glutes as you come up. Really squeeze in those shoulder blades. Three, two, one. Woo! All right. Going back into my archer planks. Three, two, one. Hitting it. Drag that arm, follow that hand with the eyes. Ah. All right, nice. Come back into my swimmers. Yay. Two, one, hitting it. Ah. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right. This is going to be our last set of each. So last set. Last set. Yay. Two, one. Archer planks. Back into my swimmers. Three, two, one. Boom. Push those feet into the ground. Coming up onto that, getting that rib cage off the ground. Two, one. Nice. That should have been a little bit of a shoulder burner for you. Yeah? All right. Next, guys, again, you're going to rest while I show, while I demo. We're going to be doing our sit-outs. If, again, you have shoulder pain and you can't do the sit-outs, go ahead and do some push-ups, either from an elevated surface or from the floor. But really, I don't care if you're going slow with these sit-outs. I'd really rather you just work on the form of them, okay? So, for my sit-outs, my knees are just hovering over the ground as I kick out. See how this foot goes flat on the ground at the back, coming back in, kicking out, coming back in, all right? So that's my sit-out. I will not be doing this on the mat, ha-ha. <laughs> and then I have my toe touches. So gonna be on the ground. My legs are gonna be straight. We're gonna do straight legged toe touches. I'm gonna really lock out that quad and that hamstring. And I'm gonna reach up, come back down. Just getting those shoulder blades off the ground. All right. 
We've got about five seconds left. We're going to go right into it with our sit-outs. Sit-outs. All right. Guys, we're starting in three, two, one, go. That sit-out test the other day showed me how it's been a long time since I've been working on my sit-outs. My numbers were very decreased, but that's okay. That's why we have those numbers. Now I'm going to my toe touches. Boop. Here we go. Two, one, hit it. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Ha ha. Coming back into my sit outs. All right. Guys, the one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to drift away from this hand. So we want to stay in close with this butt to that hand. Switching it out. Make sure to get that butt close to that wrist at the back. Toe touches, and we're going. Ugh. Really extend, really lock out those legs. Three. Two, one. All right. Back to sit outs. And we're hitting it. Take your time. Get that form good. When your form is really good, that's when you can pick up your speed. Speed would look more like this with a quick interchange at the back. But you still gotta keep those knees low with it. Going back to my toe touches. Two, one. Again guys, if you're getting gassed, go ahead, skip a couple of the exercises and then come back in. Two, one. All right. This is going to be my last set of each of these exercises. Last set. And we're going for it. Gotta love this total body complex exercise that is the sit out. So good for your brain. So good for coordination. All right, going back to my toe touches. Three, two, one, lock out those legs. And we're reaching. You wanna make this a little bit harder? Keep those legs straight, just have them out a little bit further away from you. Uh. All right, ha ha. Going into our rest period. This is gonna be our last um, set in our circuit. Set of exercises. All right, for this one, I'm just gonna completely get rid of my mat so it doesn't get in my way. Again, you are resting while I am demoing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into that lateral crawl. I'm in this four point position, just like my sit outs, where my knees are gonna be slightly elevated, taking a step out and in, step out and in, take it the other way. So what's happening is my hands are doing the opposite of what my feet are doing. 
If that's hard to coordinate, don't worry about it. Just do those step outs and in, all right? And then we're gonna go into our four point hip mobility where I'm gonna swing that back knee out and touch that opposite foot. I want you to take this slow and controlled. I want you to try to keep those hips level the entire time. Try not to rock those hips, all right? Guys, we're almost there, we're almost home. And we're going into it in three, two, and one. All right, lateral crawl. Two in the one direction, two in the other. Keeping those, those shoulders over those wrists. Keeping those knees down low. Don't let that butt rise up. Three, two, one. All right, now shake it out. Because we're gonna go right into those four point hip mobilities. Three, two, one. Boom. Slow and stable. Slow and stable. You got this. Five seconds left. Woo! That's a burner. 10 seconds. Fix my shoelace. I'll do this from the side so you can see how low my butt is. All right, out. My butt is at the same height as my shoulders. I'm gonna step out. Out and in, out and in. All right, shaking it out. Woo! Three seconds left. Going into my four point hip mob. Boom, boom, boom. See, keeping those, that butt the same height as my shoulders, keeping my shoulders over my wrists. Whew, it's a burner, guys. Thanks, Coach Josh. <laughs> Woo, all right. Just gonna do a little downward here for a second. Going into my lateral crawl. Oops. <laughs> it's another one of those coordination exercises as you're stepping out with your hands, with your feet. You're stepping in with your hands. All right. Going back into my four point hip mobility. You got this, you got this. Two. One, go. Woo. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Okay, guys. So, our last set of each, last set. Alusat. Alusa. Getting it. You got this. We got this. That's what Halusa is. Your butt's going to want to rise up. Keep those knees low. All right. Woo. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really feeling that in my quads. Ha, three, two, one. Go for it. Ah. <laughs> Josh said, if you feel tired, go ahead and ignore that feeling. All right, that was it, guys. Let's go ahead and go right into our homework. You got this. So we're gonna start with our knee grabs, just 10 of them, all right? Arms in tight to the chest, legs are out straight. Throwing those arms forward, feet flat on the ground. Come back in, boom. If you're home and you need a little bit more rest, 
Go ahead and pause it. You know what the homework is. We've been doing it all month. Eight, nine, and 10. Woo! All right, guys, let's go ahead and go into our deep squats with hamstring bias, all right? So for my deep squats, I wanna come in real low, grab those toes, rotate out, rotate out, then stand up straight, come back down, getting low, rotate, rotate, get those legs as straight as possible, chin to chest, come back down. This is three. Lengthen those legs, get that hamstring stretch. Here we go with four. And five. Nice. Rolling it up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my elevated surface for my T-spine push-ups. All right. So I'm coming down into my push-up. I'm rotating out. Coming down into my push-up. I'm rotating out. <coughs> Here's two. Three. Four. And five. Boom. Yeah. Woo. Um, so guys, again, it's Juneteenth, our nationally celebrated commemoration of the end, or ending of slavery. And, um, you know, we were talking about being flexible in the wind. There's a lot of people out there that aren't very flexible with their mindsets. Doesn't really do them or anybody else any favors. And um, that flexibility also really helps us with our emotional state. It's like if we resist this pandemic and we just get really, really sad that we're inside and we can't go out and do stuff, that's not gonna do us any good. We need to have a more flexible challenge mindset in order to get through this, in order to try to find those positive things to keep us going, you know? Um, I wanted to do a shout out to Nydia, who had a really great suggestion if you're not in the Facebook secret group and you have a hard time either catching up with when we're doing these exercises or you wanna go faster. Um, if you're doing the YouTube exercises later, you can always change the speed of the video. You can either make it go faster, make it go slower. Obviously, you can always pause it if you need to take a little bit more of a rest, but that was a really, really good suggestion. So guys, can't believe it, phase one, we're in it. See what happens out there. But we're here for you guys. We're gonna keep doing the remote training. Start with our in-person training on Monday. We're gonna keep that remote training going and going and going, all right? So we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Love you. I'm gonna unmute.